Marble Greek statues and temples weren't originally white. The statues and temples that have become symbolic of ancient Greece's artistic legacy weren't always as we see them today. When they were first crafted, these pieces of marble artistry were adorned with a palette of bright and lively colors. The ancient Greeks, in fact, considered statues without color to be aesthetically deficient, void of the beauty and life that color brings. Historians and archaeologists have long been aware of this, discovering traces of pigment on ancient statues and temples. However, it is challenging for us to picture these works as the ancient Greeks saw them. Their true hues faded or washed away over the centuries. These ancient Greeks, pioneers of philosophy, democracy, democracy and art placed great emphasis on color's role in portraying reality. To them, a statue was not simply a representation of form, but an embodiment of life, and color was crucial in achieving this. Thus, they painted their marble statues in vivid hues, striving to mimic the vibrancy of life itself. As time passed, however, the paint on these statues and temples weathered away, leaving behind the stark white marble we associate with ancient Greek art today. This change has, unintentionally, given the artwork a timeless quality. Quality, although it strays from the original aesthetic principles of the creators.